That one inside a cafe. He yeah. hacked it and got away at the same time. That was so ballsy out of this man, and he's actually directly above and up towards the top right as well. Still trying to hack people from above. Not able to get that one off, even with the reduced time, but Swoosh goes in, gets the initial kill, and Gods is able to respawn it up too. Now, what's he doing? He's just looking for a hack onto someone to it shut them down. It sounds like he did actually get the hook there on towards Gods, if I'm not mistaken, and unless the sound sort of betrayed me, but Finzi's going to be available here and ready to deliver or with a tactical visor. And up on top is going to go Caustic. So, Movie Star, they have that initial positioning, but now it's going to be the Nano Boost of Kaiser coming forward. They know they need to get him into position to do damage, but the Transcendence comes out over the fight almost immediately, and Caustic's found Rook. Not much more healing coming from that direction, and now cards are being forced back. He gets a shocking reception from Kolsti, and it's going to be Movistar right He'll stand tall on the point to take it away. I think that lad looked quite desperate with that Dano on uh, the Ryan against the Dives on this stage of the map on defense. So not terrible to have that speed boost available. But sure for is on the prowl. He's looking to get to the back line there as well. Dante Transcendence was forced out by the Dragon Blade coming in from Gods. Unlikely Gods will get too much for this one, but it's what happens after those Transcendences pop. That's more important. And so far, it's Movie Star Riders that are making ends meet. It's Dante with two. He's found Kaiser and Gods there. That's a huge involvement from that Zenyatta in that fight. And of course, Finzi is the cleanup crew. I like what Finzi did there too, because instead of just fighting Kaiser out in the open, he runs into a small corridor, which means if Kaiser wants to kill him, he has to, well, you can see the pressure's being put on to, towards Rolf here with Logix and Swoosh there. Eventually, Shurfer will shut him down, and Logix and the rest of his team should eventually back away from this one, because even with the kill that they do have, I don't really imagine they can finish this one off. But Dante, he just snipes Shurfer off to the side with the right clicks. And as that Discord Orb still being thrown around to quite a few different targets, but Self-Destruct going to come in by a little bit of time, but there's the Sound Barriers. Yep, and we see the bubble on the ground there as well. The Self-Destruct not as effective as ever would have liked it to be. It's going to be Kosti though. Primal Rage finds Kaiser. He juggles around the big Reinhardt and Finzi now with the Tactical Visor. He needs to contest with the Sound Barrier here, but he's got to keep the damage coming, and Zephyr can't block it for long. Pulse Bomb was dropped on him. That was superfluous. He was already getting demecked there, but still Logic's made sure to secure that one. And again, it's going to be tough to try and stall this one out. Cloud9 with very few players. Kaiser barely makes it there in time. The Emperor has fallen, the payload's getting close, and it will be getting there. A minute and 42 on the clock from Obby Star Riders, and quite the admirable aggression to really shake Cloud9 up there. I mean, that looks... So uh, I believe you, I believe you did it, it fairly early on in the piece, okay. yeah. So they got that control. They have their own uh, mini, and I'm assuming very soon or already they have their own mega as well hacked here and in towards the cafe. So a lot of extra help for the teammates to pick up here, but Finn has been rushed down by Zephyr, and Logix hasn't been able to accomplish too much. He's been forced to run away. Well, Adam was desperately trying to peel for Rolf there to keep him alive, and Rolf, with a sliver of health, just turns around and gives better than he got back towards Logix with a the headshot there, Neptuno. Obviously, a big involvement in that fight, getting the D-suit on Zephyr and getting the finish off, but that's really all that's going to be coming from there. Cloud9, obviously, we didn't see them dive too aggressively. They almost like they received that push. But with so much investment in trying to kill Rolf, not paying off for Movistar, that's, that's going to be pretty frustrating. So look at here. Did Dante just get, like, headshot by Gods and then Rolf finished it off? That was sick. I mean, that, that, I mean, they're down their Ana. They're down one of their major healers, their burst healers. And now, I mean, Finzi, Colstein, and Logix, well, with Logix being taken down, there's some headshots out of Rolf again. Has no chance to really contest his payload. You can see Rolf's doing as well. A lot of damage coming in, and his teammates are capitalizing from that one for sure. For it's very easy to pick off a target that Rolf has already chunked down to about 10 HP. And this dive, this aggression from Cloud9, is paying off. With Zephyr on that Diva as well, making sure that they can mitigate the, the hit scan damage coming across from Movistar. Yuki, this needs to actually be working very well for C9. I, I think you've got to give credit to uh, Zephyr in this competition just because he's nullifying like how much Movistar can actually do. Did he get booped by Neptuno? Well, I, yeah. I saw he dashed back in on Finzi while he was reloading with Tac Visor up. So it's like, obviously he was going to be able to pick up that kill since he was in range of healing. But in the meantime, the payload's still moving. We do see Kaiser trying to stall for some time. Yep, just going to get a Primal Rager as well, and that's very effective. Too effective almost. Kaiser lands on top of Dante and deals with him, but Logix tries to send him skyward yet again with another Pulse Bomb, but they just aren't the players here for Movi Star Riders. And Cloud9 have exceeded Movi Star Riders' expectation on what should theoretically be their home ground. Two minutes. Uh, time. wants to jump straight on in. Not much ult charged oh. up yet, but he's looking for the mini, but he's kind of getting body blocked out. Now he might have the Diva to deal with him. Guess what? Kaiser came to say hello, but he quickly gets out to safety. I don't know if that is just he's just running a distraction or what, because they try to attack him, they back up into the cafe, and then Logic just picks up these kills, and he's not being touched. He's not being focused down, which if you're a tracer, that's exactly what you want to have happen. And he's just getting so much free damage in, and in turn, free kills. We're only having like a minute and a half or two minutes of time to actually work with. They pick up this first point cleanly. I mean, that's a hallmark as well of a, of a, a composition that has dive elements to it as well. There's always more than one threat. Neptuno, of course, is more, you know, utility focused. I think he was going for the mini there as well, just to make it even harder for C9 to sustain through that onslaught. You can see he's doing that here. It, again, it's just a war of attrition. And it's cheap. 
Albeit very slowly, we're going to be in overtime fairly soon, and Cloud9 abiding their time themselves. Going to get ready to jump in now. The EMP comes out responsibly from Neptuno. It's defensive, and it seems to have worked, but Gods comes in. He chases the Sombra down, and Short 4 doubles down with the Pulse Bomb. This is going to be pretty tricky to deal with. And Swoosh can't reflect his way to victory, not through the onslaught that C9 are bringing, and that's going to be it. Overtime should well and truly tick down. 43.75 meters was what Movistar achieved after the first point, and C9 have three and a half minutes to match it. That had to have been a good read by Sure4 and Gods there, because we saw the EMP on the left-hand side giving so much information just with that Discord alone, but you can see he's already about to be low in HP as they're trying to focus him down, but Sure4 gets a clean kill on a Neptuno pretty much by himself as Kaiser jumps on top of that cafe, and Dante able to stay alive for now, but Colsey on a very low life. Swoosh as well, able to pick up a health pack, but losing quite a few people, but able to turn some of this around here. Gods is trying to look for a single kill, trying to focus out on Swoosh, eventually gets the kill with the help of the melee damage. I think Cloud9 might have been able to pull this one off. Yeah, I mean, that point was a flurry of arms, legs, and assorted appendages here, but Cloud9 really getting in the face of Movistar oh. Riders. Adam and Kai is a good reflect there from Gods that not only keeps him alive, but also keeps him trucking along. And C9 have made, cleared the point. They made a pretty squeaky clean. And that's a huge amount of time. Now, Movistar had to hold forward, and how difficult is this? They're going to be, they're going to be spawning a relatively long distance away. So it's going to be super difficult because it's literally one fight, and Cloud9 have all. So it's going to be... Uh, riders, but they have to do it another one and potentially two times. Finzi, the only player right now with an ultimate. Dante will be able to potentially give him a tack visor after this one, or a nano visor, should I say, but Zephyr is going to be a factor as always. Tack visor for Finzi, but he got no chance to use it. Gods chases him down. No way you're going to escape from that one, and sure for as well. That's his second kill with the fight, and two players stand for Mobby Star. Make that none. Cloud9 get over the line, and it's a very impressive first map. They only had a minute and 18 seconds remaining, but. They knew they had the time to work with. We saw the dry fight came in where they forced ultimates out. They knew that they could pressure Movi Star quite easily in that way. But too close and catch him out. But so far, hasn't been found. Swoosh and Kosti are very, very low though. They've taken a huge amount of damage in the first part of this round and God's pressuring forward. Kosti had a harmony orb on him, but it wasn't enough to keep him alive. It seems like Cloud never doing the same thing that Movi Star were trying to do. To survive longer when they actually dive in. Um, but it's mostly just down. Yes. What about defensively, though? I mean, you know, if Dante's being pressured by Gods, I would imagine the bubble might buy him, you know, a couple extra seconds of time yeah, potentially sure. to get away. Um, but we are seeing the Sound Bears come in. It looks like Moose Star are trying to take this point back. It's already 99% for Cloud9, and Gods has his blade ready to go yet again. He's going to pop this one down. So Transcends can use defensively out of Dante. It's going to be a self destruct coming in towards the backside. Looks like it won't catch on to anyone, but it doesn't stop Gods from picking himself up a kill as well. Sure, for able to chime in. Finzi, pretty much by himself with only 30 energy, cannot get the damage down he needs. And it looks like Cloud9 will pick up the first map here on Li Zhong Tower. Reluctant to give it up and refuse to do so. First round over to the North American squad here on Li Zhong. Yep. Quite often, uh, it's just a case of stalling the point as long as you can, have the Mercy Res come back in. It's extremely difficult to play against. Yeah, and it also depends on you, importantly, winning that first fight um, that oh, you can actually nice. hold it to start with. But Swoosh obviously has the Pharah as well. So both teams running a Pharah, Swoosh simply playing without a Mercy, which may make life quite a lot harder for him. And somehow, sure for, with the knockoff on Dante, that is going to even things up a little bit more. Both Pharahs have had their first involvements here quite nicely. And Shulfa versus Swoosh is going to be an epic battle as well, but we haven't really seen too much of Swoosh on that Pharah so far. You can see that Zephyr knows he needs to protect Adam there. The defense matrix is used to keep that Mercy topped up. It's just really hard if you're fair here in this situation to do much damage when there is a Diva playing the enemy team, especially like Zephyr and how good he is, because it eliminates a majority of your damage you could potentially pull off. And the side of Sure for is he gets free damage off on his end. There's nothing to really block him out. He can obviously attack towards the bridge. Let's say Adam here's gonna be going for a rest, catches three people here to stall out. At least the initial contestion here for Movistar. Can't be pretty frustrating there for Movistar as well. It was a big involvement from Logic to actually turn that thing back around. And again, Neptuno was still hanging around. He's had about four kills in this current life, and Swoosh actually just swoops straight on in and gets finds gods with a headshot now on Kaiser. Again, he's just getting tasered up and not really sure where he needs to be looking. A little oh. bit of disarray for Cloud9 here. That's not good. Dante again comes in. Adam goes down with Rez. Nicely done by Dante to identify that that was a crucial target. And we're in overtime now. Again, Dante deals death. The head of Zifa goes rolling. Brilliant stuff from him. He's put so much of his team on his back in that last round. And Movie Star make it one and one. Oh, so walk us through that. Okay, I mean, we're sticking to what they know and what they work with best. I'm hoping Dante gets a little bit more freedom this time because he got pressured by Sure for a hell of a lot on the last map, being knocked off twice, being focused down by you know every stray rockets, and obviously as a Zenyatta. You don't really have an escape mechanism. You're depending on Neptune or the Lucio player in this position to help keep you alive by speeding you away. And you see what happens when he wasn't being harassed as well. The final yeah. moments were pretty much Dante all over the, the kill feed there as well. 
Okay, Kaiser going to come in here. He was already discorded up, but he doesn't last very long at all. Dante set that up, but it's traded out. He forced the Shawfor again, which was the issue we mentioned earlier. And now Shawfor doesn't have too many people to keep him in check. He's found Finzi now. Neptuno forced to skate up on the edge and try and stay up. The point is not taken yet, but Rule's fallen now to Swoosh. But you can see the the, the presence of mind out of Movistar, and, and, and Ayuki can go into this a little bit more, where Finzi was playing with Dante. Can you explain why he's playing with him, Soldier, with Zenyatta there? Yeah, so it's just for the heal. Um, just build up to peel against that. Uh, next to the health pack, but I was actually, I actually thought Cloud9 were gonna win that fight. Very low in HP, but he's getting very close to his transcendence. Gods doesn't have his Dragon Blade up just yet. All it takes is one single kill to make something happen, and there it is. Gods gets the kill to Coasty. We're at 95% for Movie Star Riders, so they're trying to close this one out. And Gods, with the help of the Sound Bear, is just trying to pick up people from the side like a vulture. And he's looking directly towards Dante, who's forced to pop that trance. Yep. Cloud9 is the name here. They're going to move straight on in. Kaiser set them up with the bubble. They filtered in after it, but Logix has found two quick kills. A big individual contribution from him in this round, but it's unlikely to be enough. Finzi at least is there, but that annoying Diva is going to prevent him from doing any damage. The Korean future vacuum. Him shuts him down pretty hard, but Logix again another kill. That's his third oh. on the point. A fourth Logix doing some serious work here. It's washing down with the Dragon Blade. There's an opportunity. Neptuno gets the D suit and the kill on towards Zephyr as well. It's going to be the Transcendence forced out on the point by Rolf, but it may not be enough here. You can see the Movistar are being careful about this. They know they need to keep overtime going. They need reinforcements. Gods, it's time to channel the Dragon. He's looking for his next target again, and this swoosh is felled. Cut in two, of course. Straight jumping through on the point, and Neptuno also running low. C9 have come back in. The reinforcements are right. It looks like Jason, this might be it. Because he's still trying to hold on. He's still just swinging away, trying to stall for as long as he possibly can. Maybe some back of the logics will be enough, but logics is taken down. And Coasty, with only 100 HP left remaining, is going to fall here. Cloud9 are going to turn the point, and they're going to take this one 2 1, going into potentially the final map here of Li Zhang Tower. Whew. That was weak. And you can see Finzi. Just curious about what kind of percent generation he can build up on his energy in this. Look at Neptuno. Just trying to get a, a bit of a feel for what's going on here. You can see Logix isn't gonna, gonna, gonna go too deep until he finds a kill really available, but he's discorded right now, so you can see he yeah, really has to play honestly. Eventually it's gonna be removed from him, but Zephyr finds Colsty early on. You gotta be very careful if you're Winston to get too close to that mech. Yeah, it was a weird call because Colsty went in when the rest of the team backed away to actually deal with Surefor to try to hit him as five or you know, four or five people to just eliminate him immediately, and <coughs> Colsty pays the price for that being too far forward. Logix now as well. On the point again, trying to really contest this one out, but Zifa is going to find... He picks up an Earth Shatter. What do you have to block it? Unless you can somehow read it out of the Zarya. But there's going to be, I think, Swoosh going in with his Dragon Blade. Takes down Adam. Kaiser's not able to hit that charge, unfortunately. Now he's just the last man alive on the point. And look at this. 90% built up for Movistar. This could almost close this one out. I mean, you have a transcendence to fight them off. If they come in, it's going to come down to Sherford to be the one to tag the point in time. Yeah, I mean, there's, no, there's really no time. It's only store. They were left with so little there as well. Logic's back to the point. Oh, We're in overtime. Shawfort drops down. Gods has to go and he gets a nano boost as well. And the Dragon Blade. But he still has to cut through a Transcendence. So hard to do that. But what other choice is there? Big Earth Shatter coming out though. This could be it. Movistar getting knocked to the ground there. Lovely setup from Kaiser to drop them all to the ground. And now it's going to be Zipper switching over towards that Winston, of course, to get the extra damage across the line. Finzi getting booted back off the point of Graviton for good measure. But again, no follow up. Finzi picks the Zaya. Gets nothing done with the ultimates here and C9 have done the unthinkable. They should be able to cap this point now in overtime. Swoosh couldn't get the resets there to actually make that one work, even with the help of the Graviton. Just didn't have the damage there to support him from this. Now, sure for with Pulse Bomb available, 92% build up for Cloud9. He's got a Pulse Bomb. They also have a Sound Barrier to work with, where Movistar have absolutely no support ultimates to use. Yeah, big Sound Barrier there for Cloud9. It's going to make it that much harder for what we started to do anything about it. And in the meantime, sure for just found two kills. A lazy Pulse Bomb at the feet of Neptuna was more than enough. A, a gift that he couldn't refuse, perhaps. Oh, Swoosh, though, with two, with three, oh, with four. Oh. It comes through with the swift strike and sure for is dropped to the ground. There is chance here for Movistar Riders to make something happen. Individual performances, my god. Swoosh turns it around. Overtime is ticking through. No chance for C9 to get on the point. What was wow. that? <laughs> <laughs> Defensive, like, oh crap buttons, right? Yeah. You had to, like, throw it down because it was going to die. And yeah, I completely agree with you there. Oh man, I'm still I'm still buzzing from that as well. Sorry about your ears at home. That's kind of what happens when you let the Australian guy cast Overwatch. That's but... their fault. They should know by now. <laughs> you really should. Either way, Swoosh in the middle of the map for the moment here. Wolf's getting taken quite low. He needs to be a little bit careful. He backs away. Swoosh just trying to get a bit of damage across here and get closer to that first Dragon Blade. But Kulsi has great success. He finds Kaiser. Yeah, this momentum though. I mean, off that high, I think, of winning that last fight on the hands of Swoosh, I think they gotta be feeling this. This is a strong start for them. They get the initial capture, they get the position they need. Swoosh already built up to 40% on his ultimate. 
Now it's just whether or not they can chain, chain us into fight after fight after fight. Uh, Pulse bomb straight over the edge there as well. He field gold it even. God's missing that hook. He's punished pretty heavily though. Look at the damage that came in. He's got to get the heck out. Pulse bomb dropped now in the middle of C9, but God's had found Colsty. That's an important start considering he's being pressured so much and Rolf's just trying to track him around the screen, but he's got to look after himself. Now, Finzi has a Graviton Surge. Three kills come out for Mobistar Riders now. This no, is it's, eaten. it's eaten! Zephyr eats up the Graviton Surge. Unbelievable! And he got desuited just after that, if I'm not mistaken. His last moment as Diva, I think, was just to try and eat that up. That's ridiculous. He gets his mech back now. He's back in it, of course, but it's overtime. They have to keep stalling, they have to keep him on top of this point, whoever it's going to be. Gods are trying to use something, to, the whole hog towards the back line, but gets taken out by Swoosh. And we're still going to have Zephyr there, who's actually, I think, de suited at the moment, just about half HP left. Swoosh, again, coming up big, gets himself a double kill. Kaiser has Earth Shatter, but he's not in a position to use it just yet. He's looking, he's getting knocked around, he doesn't have the opportunity to throw it down, and he does! But he hits nothing, and no one's on the point, and Movistar Riders are going to take Li Zhang Tower. Was it NIP that we're doing here? Ah, I digress. We've had so many games. Yeah, it's hard to remember. Who would get great excuse? Yeah. <laughs> That's always my excuse. But fair enough. I see now trying to outmaneuver here as well. And to be fair, it seems to have worked for the most part here. You can see they've got a couple of kills in fairly early and sure for as well. If you leave them at large, Dante, not much he can do. Colsty hoping to drop in and grab that mega, and he does at least get it. Which is actually interesting. I would imagine that's one of the health packs that's going to get hacked because it allows your flankers to play in that position, go get that uh, mega picked up, and come back in from that high ground there, direct in front. Uh, but. Yeah, but in theory, but you know that C9 is probably going to circle around from your left, so you're probably going to try and hack the mini as well and just make it a bit harder for him yeah. in this room here. But don't I don't I do it with everyone like all pros? All well, time? I mean, like, I know a little bit about is. how you got there. Okay, I mean, initially you did, but we'll <laughs> leave that at that. There's a game to be going, and C9 are just pushing their way through here. This made from Swoosh hasn't really achieved any of that efficacy that he was hoping to with the pick itself. He's been completely caught out of position. C9 are already on the point. They're already at home. Oh my they're, eating, God. they're eating his biscuits and drinking his tea, and there's nothing he can do about it. And now we're still going to try and come back in, but Zephyr, that's nasty. Swoosh fell to the self-destruct. Oh my lord, they threw everything at him. They had the Dragon Blade of Transcendence and the Self-Destruct on top of that. Five minutes and 50 seconds to go here, and they've made themselves a third of the way through on this capture, and it seems like Moostar is struggling to get really get back on this point. Luckily for them, there's no soldier that, that they have to dislodge from the high ground here, but they're still keeping Swoosh on May, who's only at about 70% of his ultimate, so they're not going to have that Blizzard for a while. Yeah, and the rear would need it as well. That would be a, a godsend, but he goes down again early. Kaiser makes the earth shake, as he tends to do, and Zephyr going to push right towards Dante. Oh, dear. Not much to be done for him, the poor guy. Rolf, though, is being protected very well. You can see the defensive matrix come across screen there from Zephyr. Wow. He's being protected, and that's pretty scary from C9. Five minutes and 22 remain on the clock here. They are taking absolutely no prisoners. Jason, take notes on how quick that was. Right, you get the healing if you bring the Diva in, at least for the Anna's uh, sake, and stop the damage for the Zinnian. So, Cloud9 really grouping up off the point. This is an interesting setup. They're actually going to have to retake. Yeah, so they're going to go back in. It looks like. Well, actually, I don't know. It looks like Movie Store hasn't even been able to actually touch the point anymore after the initial captures. They backed away towards that mega as well. But Adam getting a little bit aggressive here, playing with his team. But he, I mean, with those three beefed up lads in front of him, I think he's fairly safe here. Yeah, that's right. I think he's one happy to let his big brothers do the work here. Now, Colsey's fallen to gods. Of course, with that Roadhog there, it can often be a matter of time before your tank or someone is hooked in and picked up. Someone's spamming need healing, and I'm enjoying it. I think it's actually Kaiser. That's great. Uh, Logix has found a possible moment towards Adam. Shawfor at least deals with him after. Goes back and gets the mini. Can still work on his point, but again, he's got only the defense of Zephyr Zif there as well, who can throw the defense matrix out, but he was eventually picked off. Zephyr didn't have much of it left. He gets desuited here, so... A kind of a really weird, really drawn out fight. That, that was actually so reliant on Logix actually hitting that pulse bomb because if he didn't, for some reason, now they're going for a man. So this, uh, this could be nasty, uh, Yuki. I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you, mate. You probably know better than I do, though. There's five ultimates available for C9 here, and they've been so good at just filtering those through very slowly, only use them when needed. Movistar lost that Juno too early. They can't afford to wait for him to respawn in. They need to do something, but Colsty, no, he needs to get away. He had that Primal Rage and he's going to try and back away, but still being very threatened. C9 is staggered. Movie starts so well. There's no chance. No hope for them. Surely overtime comes in. And Logic put himself on the point, but that's all. Finzi can't even get there. He dropped down incorrectly and Swoosh tries to jump into the middle of C9. They're just trying to stall right now, Movie Star. Not even trying to do damage. Unfortunately, they're going to need that and lots of it. Swoosh has found two of the Dragon Blades. Surely not Clutch Master Swoosh again. That would be unbearable. My heart couldn't take it. Zephyr jumps over the top, and that's it. They're Chino to fall down, overtime to tick through in C9. That is a dominant performance here on Hanamura. That was really impressive. They played with such composure, and it must be often at all. They were seen, I'm sorry, Sherfer actually protected quite heavily um, by Zephyr and by Kaiser. 
Looks like Sushi is able to get the kill onto Rolf. So at least take one support out of the equation. Gets the second kill onto Kaiser with him going down. And Adam will force the res out of him to actually get those people back alive, which he does. But does he escape safely? And it looks like with Alba Shorefor, he's able to do just that. Yeah, that's important that Adam can get back towards Shorefor. Obviously, him having used that infrasight early, giving a lot of information, uh, that's just timed out now, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Swoosh, he goes and finds Shorefor. There's no way he could have seen that one coming either. Swoosh has been such a menace in this fight. I think he's killed Kaiser now twice, or at least with the help of Logics. And it's why Star Riders really kind of thriving in this brawl situation. Prolonged engagement seems to suit them quite well. We're seeing Shurfor still stick to Widow at the moment, so that's that. But look at this, the payload's about to cross the line here, and they need someone to touch it in time. Four meters left to go. Finally, someone's going to get out there. Now, Adam, leading the charge for his team. Ooh. I don't know if he got quite the jump he really wanted there. I think he wanted to get back towards his team. Kaiser was on the payload that whole time. I think he might have ducked away just to get some healing. But again, it wasn't a full reset from C9. They haven't got all of their players here. It's just a matter of trying to stall this out for as long as they can. And that's the most they can manage. Three minutes and 33 seconds it was what remains. Off this, and there we go. That's going to be actually gods. He's taken out by Swoosh with a Swiss strike to actually eliminate him before that blade gets pulled out of its sheath. And that means he's going to have his ultimate up in the next fight. Yeah, everything changed when the Weeb Nation attacked, and Swoosh is really making the damage <laughs> happen. Two kills coming out from him, and the Genji has been so important. Cloud Nine have a chance to do that themselves, though. God's going to now going to come through and try and reciprocate, or at least to try and match. But he goes down. He's just he's just shocked to death, of course. The Tesla cannon takes him out. Kosti on towards Zephyr. There is a May in ice form over on that point. The Movistar Riders. Right might be able to get this done in regulation. That would be big. Payload's very close towards the end, and it's done. Movie Star Riders push all the way through. Swoosh again. Multiple occasions. He has been. Uh, you could do it to Logix, just to get this high ground. Well, Logix, just think about it there as well. We would actually have any attack fires that come through at this stage. I'm sure for. Nothing found for that one except for the Neptune at the end there, but it was fine because C9 already paved the way towards that fight really nicely. God's had a huge in involvement as well, even before he pulled this Dragon Blade out. To C9 get to that second checkpoint, God's is mildly excited. No, she doesn't look also his ultimates here. So another fight, of course. Movie Star are going to take this one outside of the third stage. Yeah, Rolf pops the transcendence. Not sure exactly why, but he gets it off nonetheless to make sure they can have a clean transition into the third phase. Top fire is going to be pop fins. He gets this off, but unfortunately, he gets taken out before he gets much actually used out of it. He does get it off and has 70% left as it was being used. So yeah, he obviously lost you know a good 80% on that one, and Sheriff was able to help clean up. 30 at the second point, and they have a ton of time, four minutes to close this one out. They do, but who was it that had five minutes, five and a half minutes to finish this yesterday? Was that it's like Nip or someone like that? For Rolf, that's what they're hoping for here. Or gods as well. The pressure forward now. This is the last moment. Three seconds remain. C9 is set up. The stage is set. It's time to throw down and get to the end of the map. Overtime is in. Rolf, oh, Nanabu, oh, the end. That's sleep. Surely not. I'm not quite sure. We're going to have to check that one later, but Kaiser's super low. He needs to try and heal him up there. It is still alive. Somehow the unkillable Emperor falls, though. The pulse bomb was dropped on him now. It's all about Swoosh yet again, trying to save the day. He finds his second kill. Sigma's being pushed back off towards the side of self-destruct just to make sure the job is done. And it's a split series. Movistar Riders hold C9 off. It's two and two. And Ayuki's sitting over smiling like I told you guys. <laughs> it's going to be a two-two. But, I mean, Movistar to hold.